What's up? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. I had lots of chats in the last two weeks about Eurovision from fans, from artists, from my own self, actually. And the topic was all the same. Is this song good for Eurovision? Is this artist good for Eurovision? Is this approach good for Eurovision? Guys, we don't understand Eurovision. I was thinking about why, and here is my answer. Let's talk. What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors. New video, new series, new details, new Eurovision, new television, new everything. But, well, we'll see how much new it's going to be. Definitely lots of new songs, lots of new contests, lots of, lots of new stuff from me as well. And one of the news is that I was thinking a lot about how the Eurovision is structured, why us professionals struggle to understand, why we want to understand it. Because we are used to have a pattern, a system, a format, you know, a structure, how we call it in our television shows. That means that a lot of programs, a lot of shows are very understandable for us, you know, like Strictly Come Dancing or Dancing with the Stars, The Great British Bake Off, The Voice, The X Factor, you name it. Those are programs which have Bible or they have a structure which is commonly similar for us to understand. So we try to understand the soul of the program, the soul of it all, you know, the core, the core, how to make everything that it's gonna work. And we have a Bible, we have examples how to do it, as well as we understand the mentality of each nation and we structure it how, how it is. In this name, like Melody Festival and or the MGP or another national selection, they have this kind of structure. It's very understandable. I can make a script right now and it, I can just make the show. It doesn't make the content, of course. It's not about the content, but how it's structured. It's understandable. We understand it. We know what we want and we know how we want it. And we are only measured by how many viewers is seeing it. That's how our projects are taken if they're successful or not. And that's very different with Eurovision because how much it really matters if the viewership is high, or low, if it's not a constant thing, you know, how can we be measured by it or can we be measured by the success? But what if we are building something to have success in few years in advance? How can we be successful? And that's completely, you know, like blowing our minds, really. The normal mentality from us, it was how to make it to the finals, how to succeed, how to perform better and we were still thinking about how we do it as a team as a Czech team a lot of other teams they're thinking the same or very similar way how can we be successful as a country but I think we forgot that it's not us who are competing and I know that I said this in like millions of my videos already that's always about artists but the ones who you tend to blame are us, producers, uh, head of delegations, the televisions. You're only reviewing our work, but we're forgetting about artists who are representing, like without the ambitious artist who wants to do something, who wants to shine, who, who wants to use the platform as a thing to shine, we will never make it. And I think that's very different from the rest of the formats we are used to. First of all, the rest of the formats, they don't have something bigger, you know, some worldwide championship. Like Dancing with the Stars, there is no global Dancing with the Stars when we can compete. If there is something like this, you can believe me that we will completely change our attitude towards the format to maybe less entertainment to more competition because nowadays it's the entertainment format. And the other thing which is different that us producers who are making Dancing with the Stars, for example, we are the king of the whole content. We control it. We control the cast, we control the script, we control the tempo, we control what kind of music is gonna play and what kind of routines are going to be danced at Eurovision. Only what can we control is our own song, kind of, you know, because how can we control it? We can either make it or we can either tell people what they have to sense specifically. 
but I'm not sure if this is a good approach, but this is the technical approach, how we, how we are thinking. That's why I'm constantly asked the question, is this song going to work when it kind of did it didn't work last year. Will the band work when the band worked last year? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I will never know. No one will ever know. I really think that's the wrong approach. If there is going to be band winning for five years, that can happen if it's going to be great. I don't really think that the people are voting based on what happened last year. They're only measured their you know what's happening right now that's why even the semi-final results and the final results are, are different because people doesn't care about any patterns they don't think in the fans way or producers way what worked last year maybe there are many new viewers who never saw eurovision before how can they know about some pattern it shouldn't be a question that shouldn't be a thing i think i believe actually but that's how us are looking at it in a context of many many years of experience but I think if we want to change this approach we will never attract the great artist or the greatest artist or the best artist or the better artist than we already have because Eurovision is shifting it's different than five years ago definitely very different from Eurovision like 50 years ago it's a very different format very different show I wouldn't even say it's format actually because you know the structure of the show okay that that's the same thing it's the same pattern but it's a show which is not based on how the head producer is making it because he can't choose the content for it or the, the main content which are the songs and there are any producer from any other country can't change what the other country will send so the, the contest always different different kind of music different kind of approach it's above everything it's out of control it's a chaos it's a chaos you know that we are guessing who's going to represent the country what kind of songs going to be there and it can change and it's just showing that more authenticity wins more real artists win and that's it but you will never hear what which producer won it or which fan won it you only hear the artist name the song name the country and i think for us producers it's a different kind of thing what we should focus and definitely it's not winning the contest but it's the winning the heart of our artists in our country because that's only winning we can have basically because without them we are nothing in this contest and that's why countries which have national selections are much better well, actually i'm not sure if they're better but they have bigger purpose around it. They have this structure, they have this format thing, but as well, it doesn't really mean that, that the best song will win. We saw it in Estonia, for example, this year. M many other examples, Sweden, for example, this year, as they still follow some kind of pattern, in my opinion, and they go for the show thing more than the song thing, in my opinions. And that's based on many factors, you know, they have everything was was the best you know they have the jury international and corrupted they are judging unknown people you know that that's great they have public voting even in different way which i think that's not really worth or it's really working in estonia for example but of course is how they do it and maybe it's a bit political in this because after all it's estonians who are choosing the song but that's the only thing about us producers what we can what we can definitely make different is how we cast our artists if we want to win if we want to if we want to do something really really good it's only what we can do is to motivate them to do the best you know and you want to work with the best artist the best artist is the it's the artist who really wants to win the contest it's the artist who really wants to shine at the contest i think that was the example the right example for this in which, which I experience is Mikolas because he wanted to be successful he wanted to go and shine he wanted to be visible he wanted to use this chance and I think it really worked for him it worked for us after all and that's the attitude we need I think guys who are watching me watching my videos and you are saying like I would like to try Eurovision I think you should change the attitude a bit towards I want to shine at Eurovision, not try the Eurovision. I want to be a successful artist, this is my chance. And I'll send the best, I'll do the best to shine because that's my 
three minutes in front of 200 million people. That's what you should do. That's that's what should be your approach. And our approach should be to find you out or maybe to, 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 say you, to, to tell you this. Maybe that's what we should do. I don't know, but definitely that's the problem with this Eurovision format or finding or searching for Eurovision formula because there's nothing like this. There's literally nothing like Eurovision formula because it's not in our hands. Even with the best song ever for our country, we still can be last because the rest of the countries will just do the better job or they will send a better artist or they will just, you know, have the better trending music. I don't know, but that's the spirit of Eurovision and this Eurovision is very, very huge beast. That's why I'm re not really a big fan of the mathematical method of choosing a song because it's already based on past experience, which makes no sense to do, I think. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Oh, what we should focus is the future, always. That's what I would say when I just have this trophy, the future, always. Because those things are happening in the future anyway, and that's a good thing, or isn't it? Well, I don't know, so I'm asking you to tell me about it in the comments below, because I think that's a good topic to talk about. I want to hear your opinions. As well, I want to have your subscription and likes if you haven't done it yet. Well, then I see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.